what's going on, y'all? Hey, Rick Express. Yeah. What's going on, my guy? Jeez. Hey, bless you music. How you feeling, man? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that that ain't right. <laughs> Need to change that MIDI. Uh, we need to change that MIDI to Juno DS. Now we can do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Napkin Cole was good. So I got a new version of this like MIDI program, which is kind of cool. I want to just put this back down here, but like, I don't know, feels like they made it look a little crisper, which is nice. Also, I, I realize now I haven't actually been here on Twitch for like a good, co like maybe a week or a week and a half or two weeks or some shit, but I, uh, I'm back now. There's been so many crazy things happening with the fucking computer, like dying and like all that kind of crazy shit. But now, we seem to be in a pretty good place. I've been making this template for the last few days, which has kind of just got like everything that I could possibly want, like in a track, more so for making like samples and shit like that. But you know what I mean? Like when I go to when I go to Keys, it's like it's got like a, a roads with like wah on it, like set up how I want to play it already. You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know, I can click F and then that just disables that. So we're also trying to save like CPU and shit like that too. You know what I mean? Varu was good. So it's funny, if I turn this webcam this way a little bit more, I've fully got like a Dyson like fan pointed at this laptop and this laptop to like try and keep them cool. Cause these shits overheat so quick, man. And I'm just saying this is like this is like a big ass like server room, you know what I mean? But hopefully that's not being picked up too much in the mic. Also, I need to get a better, uh, <laughs> like pretty much I've got this new MacBook Pro, which is, which has been awesome and is working nice and quick and is awesome. But now I feel like when they drop that next MacBook Pro, uh, you know what I mean? Like later this year, I definitely want to be getting my hands on that shit because, you know, then that would mean I could, you know, make music off that and use this to do the stream from, which would have way more power than this like super old one, you know what I mean? But anyway, right now it seems pretty damn good. So I might fuck around and just, you know, mess around with the beat, see what happens. See who pops in, see who's online. Twist cone. Hey, shout outs, Minnesota. Big shouts, Minnesota. Cheers. Oh, man. See, I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm going to have to set this up further into the template. So I've, I've figured out like a good like 90% of it. But there's just little things like this always being like the MIDI inputs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you almost have to like set that shit up so I can use the uh, the soundboard guy. Either way. Yeah, Rick Express, man, seriously. I mean, like, I can't recommend this fan, really, because it's like kind of just like a random fan that doesn't do much but i mean shit it seems to be kind of working so far so that's cool uh 
Um, I've made this. I made this drum kit as well, which I've been really dying to. Like, I've been spending the last few days just setting up the velocities and stuff to like try and make it sound as close to like the right levels and shit that I want. Um, so I can just interchangeably, you know, switch between different drum sounds and shit, but it's all kind of mixed the way you want it to be mixed. So that's been kind of cool. I mean like mapping the mapping the uh particular hits to like different different notes and shit just to make certain things a little bit easier and stuff. Hey spell What's going on man? Oh shit, my thing's not working. Hold on, here we go. Yeah big up spell. Big 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 ups. Big ups. I'm just going through this uh, little drum kit I've been messing with, with the old Superior drummer. Yeah, I might try and just cook a little something, something. Um, I've got like, I've got two templates for this as well. So I've got like the ultra light kit, which I've uh, messed with these velocities so that it can never hit really hard like notes on the drums and shit so for example okay if i if i put it on regular mode uh check this shit if we go to regular There's actually no compression or anything on this shit yet either. So I wanted to just make sure that what's coming out of Superior Drummer is like completely dry or at least dry enough that I can put some compression and shit on after like after the VST. You know what I mean? So this sounds kind of dry right now, right? But then when I go to my drum group, uh, yeah go to the old drum group McGee and we put on something like front door or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Sounding pretty sounding pretty nice. Either front door or like, you know, the NLS channel. This shit's really crunchy though. But like. Yeah, I was I was really trying to just get that shit as like close and like clean as possible. So then, you know, I could put some saturation on there. If we could like put some uh compression on first with the cream of pie. Uh, Acematic, yo, subs oh, yo, thank you for the subscription, my guy. <laughs> Woo! Appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we like, man. Thank you so much. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got this clap in here too, which I've been enjoying a lot. So it's like in Superior Drummer, you know, you can have um. Where are we? Yeah, you can kind of pick and choose certain things to go to like these like symbols that aren't there and shit. And you could choose those to either be like wave files, like your own s drum sounds, which is sick. Or like they have a few like built in percussion sounds. So like <laughs> this clap is super dope. And I mixed. I just sent whatever is going to um, the overheads, which is where that clap goes, and it's also where these cymbals go. Just put a little reverb on that shit, and like a little flanger and some tape simulation shit. So then when you play in the shit,
So it's like that shit sounds cool, but check this shit. What I've been really loving is this ultralight template, right? So this is where these velocity curves are brought down. So now when I play shit, oh wait, hold on. I also need to change this, uh, put this high pass back on. There we go. That just that sort of just cleans up the bottom end a little bit. Yeah, so the whole thing is 230 gig or some shit. But the thing is that you only need to install the first two uh the first two discs. Cause like the other two discs are like a whole bunch of the room mics and like other shit like that. If you give a fuck about that, that's like then you'll install it. But I found that the amount of mics and shit that are in the first two discs is totally fine. Um but also like uh what was I gonna say? I mean a lot of the time for me anyway, like I sp I uh unless it's unless I'm trying to make it really roomy like it'll be dry anyway you know what i mean and then because like I, I just like the sound of dry drums a bit more you know <laughs> except you might have like a few percussion things which are a bit reverby and shit <laughs> that's a bit loud actually I try and just cook a little something something real quick just to see what happens it's like 10 30 p.m here in australia at the moment it's not too late it's kind of you know it's chill vibes well it's not stupid late Could make a little vibe still enough time to get some good rest I just want to see if that came out right. Let's see. Ta, then E flat left and C and G shed a fifth. I like it. I'm a fan. <coughs> I'm always a fan of music jokes up in the chat here. Let's keep that shit going. <laughs> okay. Sweet, okay, cool. So I'm gonna drag this. Oh wait, no, I can just do that. Sweet. I'm trying to just uh, get back into the habit of like committing to the parts, you know what I mean? Like if you do if you do a little like drum thing, do whatever, like I'm trying to just, you know, get back into the habit of like committing to the shit, you know? Let's see. Also, having the guitars set up and shit now is also changing the game for me at the moment because, I don't know, like, I think for a moment there, I was pretty focused on how do I get everything that I want to do just on the keys. And that's sweet and everything, but, like, you know, guitars and shit like that just change the vibe so much, like, when they're legit guitars or whatever, you know. So I might try and put some of that shit in, too. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What kind of roads, perhaps? Maybe the roads. Oh, wait. There we go.
trying to figure out like what what parts want to be doing what and also not to make it too complex or whatever but let's see how superior drummer as opposed to addicted drums so like basically i love them both you know what i mean that's why i've got i got them both loaded up here in my little template um so like this is this is the kit from addictive i almost always used for like a good like two months you know what i mean Like, I fucking love addictive drums. Pretty much all of these drum things have their own goodness. But Superior Drummer just has, like, some cool, like, shit. Like, just some super, like, detailed, like, sampling of certain drums and shit, which sounds nice. And just, you know, it has a few different ones. And, like, you know, Addictive has a few ones, which Superior doesn't have. They're all, you know what I mean? They're all very, like equal they're just like different you know what i mean and also the cool thing about addictive is like the the uh file size is fucking way smaller than 230 gig it's like you know what i mean it's like i don't know don't quote me on but i'm pretty sure it's like 10 gig or like 15 gig or something which is like enough to do what you need it to do you know what i mean like it's just it's just it's just nice to like explore all of the things, you know what I mean? What kind of new computer is it? This is a what is this? It's a MacBook Pro 2019 uh 16 inch. So it's kind of the one that came straight out after I bought my original one. Yeah, I'm I'm in love with this snare, man. This snare is stupid. This is the uh, which one is this? The Odory Hard Hoop Aluminium Wood. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Actually, I was sort of fucking around with this groove before, which could be kind of cool to do. Like, it's like, uh, uh, ah, uh, nah, fuck it. It was, it was really weird, but it'll, it'll maybe come back to me at some point. <laughs> something like that anyway all right i want to get some guitar shit going on here all right, let's see That's kind of cool. some shit with the pick. Uh, okay, I'm gonna 
try to put that shit down real quick. Uh, the guitar, the guitar is straight in, but it's going through, it's going through some shit. Uh, it's going through this. So it's basically going through this thing called the DI fix. Um, who's this by? Sound device digital. I mean, when you take it off, it doesn't. It sort of does this strange thing where it lifts the top end and like sort of mids a bit. I don't know exactly what it's doing. I don't know, it just does something nice to it. Um, and then I got the saturation knob on it as well. And this is actually on the input. So I'm trying to do more shit on the input rather than, you know, cluttering your CPU and shit with a whole bunch of inserts. And then just leaving the inserts to be like the actual, you know, guitar module thing you want or whatever. How y'all doing, by the way, man? We got like 18 viewers in here right now. What's going on, you guys? Y'all having a good, what is it, Tuesday night or Monday? Monday night? I don't know. playing like I guess like I don't know I've been playing for as long as I can remember to be honest I've I've never really just I just messed around with shit you know what I mean Phantasma official hey working a funk album hell yeah that's what's up Thank you. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, definitely looking to put some music out soon. Um, you know, we're just kind of messing around with some shit. I pretty much, I got a, about like an EP's worth of shit ready to go. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just making sure it's cool. But yeah, I'm I'm very much looking forward to putting out some shit like very soon. I've got a few little EP's in the works with other artists and shit too, which is going to be fun. Um... <laughs> I actually low-key got this track with Mac Evs at the moment, which is so fire, and, like, I really, really want to play it to y'all, but, like, I, I, this is the one time where I just, like, I can't, I can't play it to you guys till it's, like, fully done, but then when, yeah, Mac Evs, yeah, but when y'all hear it, you'll know why I didn't play it to you unprepared, you know what I mean? And we're talking about doing a whole kind of... EP and shit, so that's gonna be a vibe. Uh, yeah. be kind of cool it's also the other thing that i've just been enjoying lately with the guitars and stuff is just you know doing like one layer it's been like cool whatever and then just like trying to find a bass line or something that does fit into that something that needs to happen in that like last bit there which is is close mm. 
What's going on there? Fuck, I'm fucking up the last bit. <laughs> it's not, it's not hitting. Yeah, I might just take it back to the OG one because I don't know what the fuck really to play in that last turnaround bit, but let's just run it. sounds. Sweet. Now I can pick up the guitar again and do some like little melodies and shit. like different other chord to put over that. Thank you. 
There we go. That one there felt kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Chorus on that shit too. You know what the fun shit about this always is? Is like, especially if you're recording audio, you can always do that pitch shift, man. like new layers and shit and then just keep pitch shifting it up you know and then it just becomes weird as fuck See, now I can pitch that shit back up to like regular pitch where we recorded it. That's so crazy. Uh, 
That's sort of hidden. Oh. So what you could also do, you know, once you've got that shit in there, let's see, if you go like RC20 McGee, you know me. That's the thing, like I feel like RC20 and shit is cool, but it's something you want to like fuck with once you've kind of like made the sample, like make your sample or whatever, like make it mixed as well as you can and then fuck with that shit. Uh, so yeah, another part of this template is just having like every sound I'd ever want like ready to go. So you know what I mean? Like I got some bongos and shit and then like I got my bongo group and that's already like got some shit on it and then you can, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Then you can um put some, you know, reverb or whatever you want on it. Actually, just sounded crazy. Just, just having the hits on the on the, you know, rim shots. transpose these shits. Hey. Hey. Now we go to this vocals. So I got some vocals and shit ready to go. So yo these are crazy. This is the uh, the East West backing vocals. Hollywood backing, Hollywood backing singers. I think that's what it's called. What's that? What's it called? Hollywood backup singers. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? So these blue things here. These are like different types of like vowels and shit. <laughs> and then these are playing. <laughs> but this shit sounds crazy and shit like this.
<laughs> you know what's so good? When you set a alarm to remind you to put the bins out, but you've already done that shit. Yeah. This is definitely Cubase. Tanner, you dig. Appreciate you tuning in, man. ones are kind of cool it just feels kind of natural and nice that they're changing different vowels and shit too you know it's just cool hey bon sag appreciate you appreciate you Jeez. So, so this this vocal thing I'm using is called East West Backup Singers, I think. Yeah, East West Hollywood Backup Singers. Yeah, shit's a vibe. <laughs> Nah, so East West is like its own thing. So they they do a thing called the Composer Cloud X, which is what I've <coughs> like what I use, and it's pretty much like they give you like all of the shit that East West do, all their sound libraries, but um, you know it's like a monthly payment. But they give you like all the shit, and also like. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like arcade, stream-based shit. But it's, yeah, it's a really fantastic library. So also, like, give some context to this. Like, all right, if I um, go to the strings folder here, so these are all, yeah, I'll enable all of them. So these are all, east west strings as well and like i've just i like it because there's a lot of like crazy different um like expressions for shit Let's see what other things they got on here. Like
Wait, that's some weird fucking other sound in there. It's not meant to be in there. Or <laughs> So, if we now uh, bring this shit way down. Oh, the plugin is called Play. But, like, I think that's an east west like thing. So, whenever you do anything in the east west composer cloud, like, all of the shit runs through this thing called Play, basically. It's like east west version of, like, Contact or some shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's all right. I think the comments are coming in a little slower than the than the chat. a lot of fun. Maybe some shit like this. And you see now Another fun thing is, okay, hold on, I just need to go back to the, the vocals here and just like separate. <coughs> this is the one thing that's a little bit tricky with the east-west shit and kind of with any of these big crazy sampled things is you need to separate the key switch from the chords. So then for example, I can highlight the chords without touching the key switch I can highlight all of this and now I should be able to pitch shift all of the MIDI and the audio at the same time. Woo! This is literally my favorite thing about Cubase, man. I haven't seen this on any other door. That's that's one like Cubase gang thing right there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again, just cause it's so easy. Woo! Hey, 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 hey! Yo, if you can do that in Logic as well, that's fucking awesome. Cause I wanna. I want to be able to do that shit in some different, in some different like doors, man. Uh, when I'm DJing, I use Serato. There was something about this key that was stupid though. Hey. Hey. 
so something else I'm going to just try real quick too is, I mean, I don't know if it's going to sound cool in this scenario, but I have to unplug the mic from this and just put it in the back of this. And that will allow me to, um, like I've set up this clap channel and I think, oh, let me just double check. But I think that should already have, okay, hold on. Some reverb, here we go, reverb and some compression and some like crunchiness. And I think even like a high pass filter. And now, yeah, let me try this real quick. <laughs> All right, we're back. Oh, I bring those down a little something, something. Fuck, this shit's sounding pretty tasty, man. I'm with this. Uh, putting sound shifter on the master. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, like, look, I enjoy that for its own sound, to be fair, but it's just not the same, like, concept. Like, this is, like, you know what I mean? You just, it's already done. It's not like, like, and also when you put sound shifter on the master, it's always so annoying when, like, you try and do any other shit and you play some shit, and then there's, like, this crazy latency plus, like, what you play back's in a different key, and you're like, what the fuck? So funny. sick these are just such like little subtle clicks but they're kind of making a vibe oh yo quantize my bad also fave piece of gear Whoa. it's really really hard like my like honest answer is probably laptop because you can do fucking everything with it but as far as like a fun piece of gear probably either the moog sub 37 or the profit pro one i want to say the moog because it's just a little bit more like versatile and shit but the pro one is just really sick because it's fucking like old school as shit and doesn't even have midi on it <coughs> You can make some really nuts sounds on it and stuff. I don't know if I've got it all set up right now, but I'll definitely get into some more of that shit soon. Let's see. Let's get a few more of these.
has like butter. What's good? How you feeling? feeling, feeling Jeez. 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 this little thing here so I can go like kind of do a little mini wind chime thing hey, yeah you know what it is that's like butter man we back trying to make like a little uh kind of like a fake flexitone with this <laughs> Far too late. <laughs> Yo, y'all all need to go to bed, man. I don't even care if I lose like half the viewers in here, but like, yo, I'm also gonna be back, I wanna say tomorrow during the day also. So like, y'all need to sleep, man. Do your thing. The only reason I'm up is because it's only 11.30 p.m. right here. And I'm probably gonna dip in like half an hour, you know what I'm saying? But I do mad appreciate that y'all are here chilling. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, speaking of my next sample pack, I want to do. Oh man, let's go. Let's go. Jeez. Jeez. with this bass again real quick. Yo, so actually I got two ideas for sample packs ready to go. I got one which is sheesh, <laughs> sheesh sounds. And then the other one which is basically more so just like focusing on drums and shit. Like just bouncing out a few of my favorite kind of drum hits and stuff like that getting that popping um, but yeah I, i'm very excited to to drop that one or both of those i should say uh. what happens when we take out some of these guitars for a second Sounds crazy. Hey, 
truly. <laughs> I really fucking hope I'm saying that right this time. Thank you so much for the subscribe, man. I appreciate that. that, that, that. Thank you very much. Alright. So I've also got this little folder here for tuned percussion folder, so. Actually, this steel drum sounds really dope, and I want to do a beat with it sometime. Like. I don't know, some sort of shit. But like adding vibes and shit like this. <laughs> Damn, that's all right. Sweet. Okay, now let's see what happens if we pitch shift some things. Uh. Hey yo, yeah, Tanny, you dig, man? It's it's awesome that you stumbled on this stream, man. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Hey, oh yeah, the electro spit. Definitely, definitely keen to get into some of that shit. I'm not gonna do that right now, just because uh, wifey's asleep in the in the in the room, like right here. So I, I can't sort of blast that shit a little too loud right now. <laughs> but tomorrow I'll definitely get into some electro spit. Also, um, I'm I'm checking out this other talk box by this company called Talkstar, and they're um. Yeah, they're gonna send one through pretty soon to like check out and shit. So we'll all get to peep that. Let's see what's popping. J Bishop Funk, what's good? Hey, Bonzaj, appreciate the the subscribe, my guy. Appreciate that. See what some of these other guitar layers are doing. should be able to just like put these back into their groups if the template is set up correctly 
I should be able to very easily just mute all the strings or all the vocals. Or all these bits. There we go. claps to actually take the bass line out for a second. And I'll put this Rhodes back on. Okay, I need I now need to hear that in a different key real quick. So that sounded pretty cool. Uh strings, roads, these things. Don't need oh uh, yeah, and this. <laughs> to remove those from the Yo, now I'm in Sydney, Australia, young forever. this out real quick so we've got it because <coughs> sometimes when you're just working on some shit like this you just if you have something that sounds cool you should just bounce it out and you never know you could put that shit in serato and it might just be like next level as fuck let's see okay so let's just bounce this shit out real quick Oh man, my mouse is all fucked up too. I actually need to get a new mouse. So let's call this Twitch Sample 16th Feb. Is it 16th of Feb still? Yeah, it is. In Australia. Okay, main out. Arenji Soul. Cheers! Good to see you in here, man. Yes, yes. We are we are back. 
had a little uh, hiatus from from the Twitch for a minute there. Had to set up this new computer, do some shit. But uh, yeah, you know, we're feeling good now. But now, yeah, I could just like, for example, solo the drums. And I could like bring up a Serato sample next to it. And unsolo that. And like put this shit in it, basically. Put the thing that we just bounced out in back into the Serato sample. Woo! That shit sounds so fucking wavy. MacBook Pro chosen pro chosen prod was good. Haha, <laughs> Nina Mendoza was good. <laughs> Yo, you'll need to follow uh, Nina for sure. She's super super dope. Always playing some vibey shit. So I also want to hear what the fuck this shit sounds like reverse to real quick. Uh. I'm gonna go to bed in a minute as well, you guys. I know some of y'all are staying up far too yeah. late. Yeah. And I see I've got like a little lead sound here ready to go pretty much always as well, the synth. Go lead. I'm gonna drag this one up real quick. Uh, gonna enable that shit. So yeah, also this is the Softube Model 72 like Moog that they do. Also, this putting a fan on these two laptops has actually worked super well. Hey, like, this actually, like, hasn't overheated. It's keeping this one, like, a tiny bit cooler. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe the fan works. 
See if that last loop was cool. Let's see. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, okay, so let's see. Now I've got that sample in um, in Serata sample, and we can mess with that shit. I just want to hear it in a different key just real quick. Alright. Nope, it's already not right. But let's try one down. Nope, it's not right. That original key right there is the one. Hey. I wonder if we could get some crazy like guitar shit happening in it. Let's see. Now I'm really, really going to bed, I promise. Fun. 
It's nearly midnight. If I stay up much later, I know I'm gonna be fucking just awake for ages. So yeah, I'm a dip. But much love to you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh damn, I thought I had my soundboard. Hold up. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Trying to say thank you.